Hello everyone. For today's lesson, you will learn different types of nouns. But for now, let's define it first. A noun is a word that names a person, a place, an animal, a thing, or an idea. For example, in person, sister, lawyer, classmate, and Victoria. In places, such as Philippines, city, bathroom, and school. Animals such as dog, turtle, cat, bird, and snake. Things such as pencil, pie, cell phone, and plane. Ideas such as justice, freedom, love, and century. Let's now go on to different types of nouns. Common nouns. Common nouns are used to identify general people, places, or things. They name or identify that which is common among others. For example, dog, eyes, city, country, chair. Example in sentences. My dog barks every night. Her blue eyes instantly captured his attention. I live in a city. She was not born in this country. He sat on the chair. Proper nouns. Proper nouns are used to identify an absolutely unique person, place, or thing, and they are signified by capital letters, no matter where they appear in a sentence. For example, Philippines, Anna, Jessica, iPhone, James, McDonald's. Example in sentences. I love spending my summer vacation in the Philippines. Anna works in a school. Jessica's favorite phone is an iPhone. James is a varsity player. I love fast food, especially McDonald's. Singular nouns. A singular noun refers to only one person, place, or thing. For example, bird, book, country, dog, pen, flower, teacher. Example in sentences. A good book is a light to the soul. My teacher uses modern technology in teaching. Our country is rich in history. Her favorite pet is a dog. Plural nouns. A plural noun refers to more than one person, place or thing. For example, languages, people, sisters, potatoes, tomatoes. Example in sentences. He can speak more than five languages. People swiftly walked off the street. I have three sisters. You need potatoes and tomatoes to make this dish. Concrete nouns. Concrete nouns refer to people, places, animals, or things that can be seen or touched. Common nouns and proper nouns can also fall under concrete nouns. For example, table, MacBook, pencil, and countries, river. Example in sentences. And is hiding under the table. I recently ordered a MacBook Pro to replace my old laptop. I want to travel to different countries in Asia. The boats were floating gently down the river. Abstract nouns. An abstract noun refers to concepts, ideas, feelings, emotions, characteristics, attributes, or events that do not exist in the real world and cannot be touched. For example, fear, freedom, love, trust, faith, interest, life. Example in sentences. He feels intense fear when he has to ride in an airplane. Freedom is the right of all people and nobody can take it away. I love my cats and dogs. I thought I could trust you. Countable nouns. Countable nouns are things we can count. For example, computers, cups, bike, students. Example in sentences. We have five new computers. Jesse gets two cups of tea. There is a bike in that garage. There are 25 students in each classroom. Uncountable nouns. 
uncountable nouns, or also called as mass nouns or substances, concepts, etc., that we cannot count as individual elements. Take note that we never use uncountable nouns with the indefinite article, such as a or an. They are always singular. For example, there are uncountable nouns in fluids like water, coffee, tea, milk, oil, soup, petrol, blood, etc. Solids like ice, cheese, meat, iron, silver, glass, paper, wood, cotton, wool, etc. Gases like steam, air, oxygen, smoke, pollution. Particles like rice, sand, corn, dirt, flour, grass, hair, salt, etc. Abstract nouns such as love, courage, education, information, sleep, truth, energy, etc. Fields of study like chemistry, engineering, anthropology, sociology, etc. Natural phenomena like weather, dew, fog, hail, heat, humidity, lightning, gravity, etc. Examples and sentences Asians love to eat rice. Air conditioners use a lot of electricity. I have the courage to take that risk. There is no more water in the pond. Collective nouns Collective nouns refer to a collection or group of multiple people, animals, or things. However, even though collective nouns refer to multiple individuals, they still function as singular nouns in a sentence. This is because they still are technically referring to one thing. The group as a whole. For example, A school of fish, flock, bouquet, committee, family. Example in sentences. I saw a school of fish swimming in the sea. The flock of birds flew away from the strong wind. He bought a big bouquet of flowers. The committee is happy with the result. He spent his weekends with his family. Compound nouns. A compound noun is a noun that is made with two or more words. Examples of compound nouns. A single word. Blackboard. Toothpaste. Sunrise. Two words. Ice cream. Washing machine. Rainforest. Hyphenated. Firefly. Self-esteem. Mother-in-law. Possessive nouns. A possessive noun is a noun indicating ownership. In singular nouns, we should add an apostrophe and s after the noun. Kevin. Kevin's pet. The cat. The cat's hat. Billy. Billy's pen. If the noun is plural and ends in an s, just add an apostrophe. The countries. The country's budget. The kittens. The kitten's toy. The boys. The boys' ball. If the noun is plural and does not end in an s, add an apostrophe and an s. The people. The people's mindset. Children. Children's dreams. Mice. Mice's cheese. That's all for nouns. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more lessons.